Hello and welcome to Zach to an episode of That Way Bath Time. I am your girl, Harold Henrietta, T. Shane May, and let's go ahead and get started because as I have said, and I think I said it either in my last That Way Bath Time episode, probably the one prior to it, where I am now doing this series semi early meaning that I'm going to be doing this series twice a year. And obviously, my reason for that is just because since I am a spiritualist, I am a witch, I am involved in the medical physical world, it just feels right for me to be able to do it twice instead of trying to do it say monthly or bi-monthly, mainly just because I want to be able to enjoy my spiritual baths as just baths and not how to think about needing to create content for them. We're gonna go ahead and get into today's topic. Now, yes, if you see me all wet and you see like, oh, she has tarot cards out, why? Well, I was just doing my cards of the week and I was just needing to check in with myself and I know the time I'm recording this, it's like towards the end of the week already, but I just felt the need to like, I need to check in on myself and I just need a moment to like, collect myself and get my parents in order and these cards of the week have definitely definitely shown me that the topic of what we're going to talk about today is just ooh, we are permitting hard this year in in all the seasons and just for all the reasons and so many things i say that because of the fact that like i can say for myself this year this year has definitely been a year of moving in silence and also sitting in silence for me. It's something I kind of always wanted to do and it's also giving like, yeah, this wants to be off the grid at one point. I very much have gotten to the point in my life where one, not everybody needs to know everything about me. And also that's something that my mother, shout out to her, has always emphasized. I'm understanding a lot more now in my mid 20s than I did when I was like obviously like starting college or even high school type shit, right? And two, it's really just in a matter of <laughs> this one's coming into my mind because I really have to say with my chest that parasocial friendships don't mean shit to me, or when I say parasocial relationships don't really mean anything to me. And I say that because of the fact that it's like, if you're gonna take it personally that I don't follow you on Instagram and not really know the reason as to why, then sure, like, yeah, I may unfollow your shit off of Instagram or whatever social media because I'm like, I decide like, you know what, I don't really wanna see your content or whatever it is that you do on my timeline, on my dashboard, on my feed or whatever, right? And that's fine, that is so, valid and I don't think people understand like hey sometimes you're just not everyone's cup of tea okay take it from your favorite cup of tea you may not be everyone's favorite cup of tea and that is fine since we're living in such a digital world like I find it very weird and also kind of unsettling and very vexing sure like we post some of our updates online and for me i've kind of find that like i like to post maybe while i'm doing something like i was just in a show and i posted about me being in it the day before we open and mainly that's just because for my own reasons it's like if you want to come come if you so much care to watch me perform then come through Otherwise, I am not expecting anything. There are people that, yes, I have sent the ticket links directly to. I let them know. But everyone else is like, you're just going to find out the same time as everyone else. Like, when I get married, when I'm in a relationship, if me and my partner decide to make that Facebook official, everyone's going to find out that way. Everyone except for my immediate family and literally probably like my top three to six closest best friends. And I know some of y'all know who y'all are being not three to six tall close best friends. Another thing really is just, you know, allowing myself to have time to really recuperate, really rejuvenate. Literally my body has been going through a whole recalibration and re-strengthening thing in itself. And it's been a process for real 
And so that has also kind of like guided me to really just like take multiple steps back from many social situations and just, you know, do what I need to do for myself. Now, I know the last time I did a baby was that I was talking about my villain era, right? So now I'm really talking about being in a hermit, shaman, like just being in an off the grid mode. Like literally for this past Lent, what I did was that I literally decided to stay off Facebook and stay off Instagram for pretty much like six days of a week. Like I only decided to come back on like Tisha May Tuesdays <laughs> and whatnot. And once again, it was kind of a way for me to like finally step away and take that social media hiatus that I've been wanting to do but also kind of control like how often I'm on those apps, whether if I'm on those apps merely just because, oh, I received a notification, so let me go check it out or whatever, or am I just mindlessly scrolling through these apps? You know what I'm saying? I let people know, I'm like, hey, I'm gonna be offline. So if you have my number, have my email, if you have a different way to contact me, contact me, through these different things. Like if you have access to my email addresses and my phone number, like you might as well utilize it if one, you're just trying to check in and two, if you need to reach me about something important. Because I know like a lot of us, especially like creatives and entrepreneurs and myself included, being those things, use Instagram or Facebook as a way of communication when it comes to like, you know, booking clients and, you know, getting work and opportunities, etc., etc. But for me, it's just kind of like, my information is also in my business profile. So if you need to reach me, please email me, message me, do it in a way that's actually a bit more professional and gonna be a bit more accessible to reach me closely than Instagram. Because would you know that like for Instagram and Facebook, I have limited notifications. I don't have my notifications for Facebook on anymore because I just decided like I don't really need to literally go on there. Also at the same time, half the time the notifications I get from Facebook are about like, oh, this company made a, a, an event or you know, it's like, it's shit they ain't got nothing to do with me. So there's no reason for me to check at all, to be quite honest with you. I just check like maybe once or twice a day and keep it pushing. At this point, if you are not messaging me on Messenger, uh, sorry. Sorry for the, 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 the delay. Yeah, like I've been definitely in a hermiting like season that's honestly turning into a hermiting year. Because also at the same time, I'm not gonna cap. I'm also going through many transitionals and transformative life changes that I'm not gonna go into detail about because truly, I don't need to. And once again, calling back to what my mom said, it's really a matter of like evil eye energy. If I share new changes, accomplishments for literally like everyone on fucking Facebook, if I share every single fucking thing that's on my mind that I'm going through, that I'm dealing with, then, you know, or even good news. And sometimes I don't share the good news when they're happening. I actually been doing it more frequently where, yeah, I'm in a show. And then I post about it like the week of the show or like the day before, right? Or yeah, I'm doing this. Or I've done this, right? Like I'm in that mindset of like, I probably am more than likely not letting people know what's going on with me in the present time unless like you know they once again happen to find out happen to fuck around and find out happen to figure it out and etc etc or we just happen to be in the actual same goddamn thing together and what my mom has been saying it's like yeah you don't need to post everything or post your business and I'm like girl I'm not I'm not I'll post an accomplishment I'll post you know, something big that happened, but I'll post it after the fact. Or I'll do it passively to where people won't even really realize or know. But I understand her reasoning is because of evil eye energy, because not everyone that's gonna wish you good luck, they could be wishing some 
detrimental and negative shit in your fucking favor to shit to go against you. I really just kind of limited my social media like engagement and posting like sure i will post some shit like yes i'm gonna repost fucking challengers and then data and my vice and whoever the other boy is in because i'm like oh zendaya my vice oh my god my vice would play rip in the new west side story and murk that shit zendaya my one of my faves my face people ever Oh girl, I'm eating this shit up. Oh my god, High School Musical Musical, the series is ending? Oh my god, I gotta post my kids. Cause I've been with the show since the jump. You know, like, I'm gonna post like, and repost shit like that. Like, shit that like, everyone's probably gonna talk about. People who are also invested in those things. But it's just kind of like, yeah, my own personal shit, I'm not really interested in really posting anymore. I don't really have a business to. Yes, I have a business to run and even then like, I really only post like reposts of people's like pictures they uploaded on their profiles. Yes, yeah, my own work when I do upload work. I kind I just don't want to like I don't need to put my life online like that. Not everyone deserves access to that part of my life. Not everyone deserves access to my personal life. And it has to be a reason, like, yes, there's some people in my life that are no longer in my life because I had to establish and build boundaries and assert those boundaries towards them to where you didn't respect my boundaries. I can't expect you to be in my life anymore at that point. Yes, there's people in my life because I have ghosted them for the same reason, but also just because it's like, you know, your vibe and your energy. It's not what I need right now. It's not aligned to the direction that I'm trying to go to, the way that I'm ascending, and how I'm evolving. I went more in depth with permitting in my latest episode of T or 10 Tiche May. The episode is out right now, and I will also say that episode is kind of a season slash series finale, even though yes, I literally started the second season like first day of spring and we just now started solstice but it's really in a matter of this podcast no longer is a priority for me right now in my life and where i'm going in my life so with that being said i've decided to finish this episode and pretty much even say like if this is a series finale thank you for those who are listening but I will always see you soon on Next Time of Dragon Ball Spirituality. For now, I am definitely doing a lot of inner work and definitely just trying to see and also just trying to peep like what is meant to be my life, what is aligned for my life right now and you know, who and what is not. Girl, let me tell you something, driving wise, I definitely like, started driving sometimes without playing any music so yes i would drive sitting in silence let me tell you something if you cannot sit in silence with me you probably are not meant to be in my life let me let me let me let me and let me and let me, and let me express two reasons why listen i have a lot of things that go on in my head all the time I have a lot of things that are going on internally all the time and sometimes I just need to take a minute to sit and breathe. I need to take a breather and if you cannot respect the fact that, hey, I don't want to talk right now, I just want to sit here and if you can't literally sit in that silence with me, you may leave. Seriously, seriously, there's reasons why I've been moving in silence as well. Because not everyone needs to know what's going on. Because also at the same time when people know shit or think they, they know shit, they make a lot of unnecessary noise. And a lot of that noise is just not helpful. A lot of that noise can be very overbearing. A lot of that noise can be very deceiving. A lot of that noise can be very distracting and a lot of that noise can be very 
overwhelming if I hadn't said that already. Me finally moving in silence and on occasion if I need to sit in silence is me just finally having some type of control and balance and really just finally being in my own peace. I can super see and super say when someone is going to be willing to help me out on my endeavors, be that creatively, professionally, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, energetically. So it's like if you're not going to help me in any of those fields, then we are not in alignment to be of a benefit to each other. We are not in alignment to help each other out. We don't need to just lollygag. And if I want to lollygag, I'm gonna do that my damn self. I'm gonna do that alone. And there are certain people I am willing to lollygag with, but at this point in my life and where I'm trying to go, just trying to have my peace, just trying to honestly be in one piece for a lot of things, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I am not in a stage and age anymore where I can just fuck around and find out. I am not gonna apologize for being in her mode. Some people may think, oh, she's in hiding or she's ghosting everyone. And honestly, if you want to perceive it that way, please do. I personally am just like working on myself. And I'm now at a point where like I'm using 111% of my energy to work on myself specifically. As a light worker and as a healer, yes, I've helped and probably helped through people through whatever situation and trauma and event and crisis they were going through. But for me, I'm at a point where it's like, hey, I was in my villain era not too long ago. If I'm gonna decide to basically go off and literally take care of myself, take care of the things that I need, get my bearings in order, get my shit correct financially, physically, emotionally, mentally, energetically, spiritually, like I said, all the things. If I am at a point where I have to do all of that, which I am right now, the only thing I can ask of you is to support me, but I'm not expecting you to. If you can respect my decision, that's the only thing I can expect is respect. I have processes and progressions and things that I am trying to do and trying to make. And if you can't at least respect that process, you may leave. Since obviously it's not seeming that you respect my ascension and my evolution, meaning that you probably are not meant to be or aligned with the energies I am trying to obviously prevail in this lifetime. Like, I don't mean to like be so, get that bread, get that head and leave. Like, <laughs> and as of right now, since I'm taking so much time to myself and so much time that like, wow, it's really taken like my 25, 26 years of life for me to finally like go within, go off the grid, like digitally, like, Girl, maybe go off the grid physically. <laughs> like, like if you can respect that, like this is something like I'm finally doing for myself, and then I need to do to myself. I need to do with myself in order to advance, you know, and everything else in my life. There's a reason why people go to the shaman or the hermit of the village because they're the ones who done all the work, inner work, shadow work like root work, whatever, etc., to where they have all the answers. Now, I'm not trying to get all the answers to everything, no. 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 But I'm at least just trying to honestly make sure that whatever I'm questioning gets an answer regardless. There's some type of confirmation from that. Like I said, tarot time is in a pause because I have a lot of work to do and it's just not something I can commit to at this time. There's a reason why about my bath time is twice a year and why I'm glad that this particular topic is coming in because like I said, I'm gonna be able to enjoy my spiritual baths at spiritual baths 
you know, rather than trying to make content out of them. There's a reason why I finally enjoyed the opportunity, not even opportunity, but really the timing of Lent to finally take that social media break I much needed because I don't want to be over consumed and very much overwhelmed with what people are not even expecting. So not expecting, but suspecting from me. It's just like, nah, I'm not gonna let y'all know everything. Y'all don't need to know everything. Yes, your favorite celebrities is like a quick away. But even then, look at Zendaya, look at Beyonce. Literally, Tom Holland just had an article about it, about you to take a break from social media. I would only use social media to share, yes, professional stuff, professional accomplishments, maybe a personal life update here and there, but also at the same time, it's just like, nah, I, 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 I am not going to give it that access to my life. I definitely have been saying, I've been on my Zendaya and Alexa Demi shit, and I say that in terms of social media and digitally, where it's like, oh, y'all gonna gag for every content or everything I put out that I put out, but y'all gonna be thirsting and hungry for more because I'm only just giving y'all a taste. I'm giving y'all crumb. I'm not giving you the whole meal or the whole plate to eat from because y'all don't need to consume me like that and vice versa. I am not trying to consume that much shit digitally. So I don't need to let y'all consume that much of me. Bars. I say it's okay to take a social media break. Once again, if people have access to your phone number, even your email, and if you're like me and have multiple emails, emails, plural, they have ways to reach you. Now, I understand it could be overbearing to the point it can almost seem like stalking and not respecting one's boundaries. Trust me, I got called out from a creative associate in regards to that, and I was like, oh, fuck, I'm so sorry. You know? Because I had to realize, oh, God, damn, I was so hungry and so thirsty to consume you, your personal shit, the shit that you posted or whatever, to the point I was like, oh damn, I became the very thing that I'm trying not to be. Respect the hermit. That's all I have to say. Respect the hermit. Respect the hermit crab. Respect the hermit slash shaman in your village. Respect people's time that they need to be away from the digital world. Or respect the time they need that they need to take to themselves. It is not that hard to respect people in that matter. People are not asking much when they decide to go within or when they decide to take a break. Like, yes, check up on them. Check up on people, but do it in a way that still respects their boundaries. Please listen to all the episodes of Your Time with TJ May on Spotify. Continue to follow me on my social medias even if I am posting on once every blue moon. If you need to take time within yourself, if you want to take time within yourself, I'm going to say this video is a confirmation from you. Trust me, you're not going to regret staying off social media for a week or weeks or days. You're not going to mess out on anything. I understand, like, people may think Hermes missed that on life, but it's like, no, that's not true. They're just taking the reins in their own life to regain some kind of control where, because we live in such a digital, consuming media environment these days, it's just nice to kind of go in within, go out and enjoy nature. Do the very activity that you've probably been holding off on because you couldn't find time to do it. Take time for yourselves because you deserve it. It is much needed. I leave you with this. Hero Henrietta is coming. And I will see y'all next time on Dragon Ball Spirituality. Peace.